Hey everyone, how are y'all doing? I'll just give it a few cup, a uh, few seconds for everyone to pop on. It's 7:30, and you know what time that is? It's chalk time. I'm just pulling up my comments on my computer, you guys. Um. Let's see here. Let's see, hopefully it'll show up right away. There we are. Sound is off. Hey, Shelly Cruz. Nice to see you, girlfriend. Okay, what is going on? I clicked on it and it's just taking forever. <sighs> hey, mom. Hi, Heather. So I'm trying to pull up your comments on my computer and I don't know what's going on, but it's like froze or something. So hold tight. We can just chit chat. Oh, I'm so glad Shelly that you are here. We are going to, I mean, obviously you can see I got a little pizza pan in front of me. So we're going to do a little pizza pan craft tonight because I had planned to do a different one, a different craft, and well, the chalk paste that I want to use for that craft did not arrive, or has not arrived yet. And I thought it was gonna come today and it didn't, so we'll try again another day. Here we go. Hi, Terry. Good to see you guys. Today was a good day. Yes, it was, Cruzy. It was a good day. Okay, I got your comments rolling. All right, you guys, are you ready? Happy Thursday. This is Sarah's Painted Things. Um, I'm the creator, Sarah, and I am an independent chalk designer with Chalk Couture, and we're going to make some fun stuff tonight. Um, if you have any questions about Chalk Couture, you can always um, put them in the comments as we go. If you are um, interested in maybe joining my team, you can also put a comment in there. Uh, you can put join in your comments, and I will get back to you on the information on that. If you decide to join, it is a 40% discount on all your purchases, which means you can get 40% back if you sell your stuff. Um, Megan, yes, waiting for that silver shimmer. I'm waiting for the teal, you guys. Listen. When they told us two weeks ago or three weeks ago that shipping might turn into a mess, they weren't lying. I don't know if it's me or if I'm just getting more impatient or if it truly is slowing, shipping truly is slowing down a little bit more, which isn't anybody's fault. There's a lot going on right now and you, we just have to be patient, but they're not kidding you guys. If you have things that you want to create for Christmas gifts, Man, you better get on those orders so that you can get that stuff in on time and then you have plenty of time for creation. Creation and creativity. Hi, Tammy. Good to see you guys. Megan, it took my last time a long time to get here. Yes, I'm telling you. I'm getting every the last few orders that I've been ordered that I've ordered, um they've come in two separate shipments. Now, some of that has to do with the fact that Chocotour is transitioning all their shipping to one location because right now they ship from two different locations so now um, they're trying to get it all in one spot um, which will be a huge benefit in the long run so until it gets that full transition mode um, well until it gets fully um, going in that one location the shipping gets fully going in that one location um, things might be a little bit rough but uh, things have been shipped. It's just taking a while to get here. <gasps> Becky, you got your Christmas transfers today? Which ones did you get? Did You got the Christmas countdown, didn't you? I think I saw that. I can't, I don't have that transfer and I'm excited to see what somebody comes up with for that because I think that is going to be so cool because you can use so many different, um, layers in that Christmas countdown. Um, you can chalk your surface and then use different objects to put your numbers on. So then you can like change them out every day. Um, I'm excited to see what you come up with for an idea there. That'll be awesome. 
Okay. Well, without further ado, let's get chalking. Okay. So we are going to use the transfer. Um, it's a wonderful life. Now I have used this transfer already and, um, so that's why it looks kind of rough, but, uh, it'll be okay. These transfers you can use eight to 10 times, maybe even 15. You guys, if you take really good care of your transfers, you'll be able to use them for quite a, um, quite a long time. And as many times, I mean, I don't want to guarantee anything, but you can use them, uh, over and over and over and over again. And if you take care of them, they'll last a long time. Hi, Lori. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and we're, this is our surface. This is a pizza pan that I purchased. I've already drilled, I've already drilled my holes for my hanger because this is going to be a door hang. I painted this with country gray. It is an apple barrel paint that I got from Walmart. And I painted it in this gray because, and it's not chalk paint, it's acrylic, I think. Yeah, it's a matte acrylic paint, quick drying. What I found with this, and I don't know if any of you um, out there can attest to this, but when I, I, I did the painting so that it would save us some time. And what I've learned is when I'm painting on metal surface, it's best to use those sponge brushes those make life so much easier for me when I'm painting on these type of surfaces. And then with the acrylic, this is like 98 or 94 cents at Walmart and I still have a little bit left and I've painted three, um, three of these front and back. And this one I believe has, they all have two coats on them. So a little bit goes a long way and it's worth your 98, 98 or 94 cents or whatever this is. Okay. So then I, I painted it. I kind of forced, I did a force dry with my heat tool and then I sprayed a top coat on it and let it sit outside for a little bit to kind of naturally let it dry just because I, did, I, I sprayed it outside because I didn't want to smell up my whole house. Um, I did not use the wax this time on this. I did the acrylic spray, which is going to be just as good, just as it, it's all going to work out. And I sprayed it front and back because, um, that way it sets the paint and I don't have a lot of chipping going on. This particular uh, surface I did not sand, but I don't think the camera will pick it up, but you can still see little um, specks of the silver coming through, which I think is pretty cool for winter anyways. All right, so I'm gonna put my hanger on here. I'm just using twine. I'm gonna put my hanger on before I set my transfer. That way I have an idea of where my transfer is going to need to be so that I don't interfere with anything. And these, I, I just drilled these with a, a drill and a bit. Nothing fancy, um, it goes through pretty slick. So I'm feeding it through the front of my pan. And so then when I tie my knots, my hanger will look like this, all right? And then I like to pull it out just a little ways so that I kind of have an idea um, where the hanger will be so that I don't accidentally um, go too short or too long or whatever. All right, and then I'm just tying a quick little knot in the back. Looping it around and putting the tail through, through the loop. Through the loop. All right. Take the scissors, cut off those tails, and now you have your door hang. Maybe I should put more in the middle so it's not lopsided. My fingers are not in the middle. There we go. Okay, so there you have your door hang, all right? So now, with that set in place, I am gonna use my scissors to kind of hold the twine up. Now we are going to and put our transfer on. So I, let me get my fuzzing cloth ready to go. And we're gonna fuzz, fuzz, fuzz because what happens is um, when you do a metal surface like what I do, what I have here and then you add an acrylic, what I found is that it makes, I mean, it's a really sticky surface, which is what you want, but sometimes it's hard to pull off your transfer 
And the last thing I want to do is stretch or ruin my transfer in the midst of trying to pull it off my surface. So that's why we are, um, have fuzzing cloths and that's why we fuzz our transfers because they are very, very sticky. All right, I think that is pretty good. Now I'm going to center this the best that I can. And I want to get all, this time I'm going to add the snowflakes. So I want to make sure that the snowflakes, ooh, this is going to be sticky. But it's because my surface is sticky. All right, where is that? Where is that going? I just want, I, all I'm doing, you guys, is making sure that my snowflakes are where I want them to be. I think this is going to be a really fun, um, a really fun door hang because if it works out, we might add some snow at the bottom. So I think that's going to be really cool. Okay, I just had some bubbles and creases, so what I'm doing is I'm making sure that when I lay it down, I don't have those bubbles and creases anymore, and then I can smooth out my smooth out my transfer. And I'm going to pull out my mini squeegee to kind of make sure that I have all the surface tight where, um, I don't know what that is, all the, sur all the transfer, sorry, not surface, but all the transfer tight down to the surface where I have the silk screen. And that way I won't have I won't risk bleeding or anything like that. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good. So my plan is to do the words in red and the snowflakes in white. So here's my little hot mess express, right? So we're gonna do red words, white snowflakes, and then there's some little asterisks and dots in there also that we're gonna hit with the white, all right? So I like to work my way from the inside out, or at least I like to do the bigger parts first. I'm just gonna get this red out of the way, and I'm gonna use the, the small squeegee to do that. Now, real quick, here's the size difference. This is the small squeegee, this is the mini squeegee. There's quite a bit of a size difference. Um, both are very um, useful in depending on your project, okay? This is really good for tight areas, this is really good for not so tight areas. All right. I didn't stir this, I used this last night, it looks pretty good, so we're just gonna go with it. All right. I'm just going to splash well, not really splash, but I'm really just kind of putting it on sort of messy. Just making sure that all my silk screen area is covered. And I'm working kind of quickly, you guys. I don't want to get stuck to where I'm working too slow and then my chalk paste is drying on me. That's no good. You don't want that to happen. And then I'm kind of sort of scraping off as I go. And then taking that extra paste and spreading it throughout the transfer. Making sure all my areas are covered. And you guys, you need to put a little pressure into this because you want your chalk paste to go through the silk screen. If you don't put a little pressure to it, then the chalk is just going to sit on top of your transfer and it's not going to go anywhere. And then when you pull your transfer off, you're not going to be very happy because the chalk didn't go through. So make sure you put a little pressure into it and push down so that the chalk paste goes through the transfer or through the silk screen, I should say. Okay. So there is that. And let's open up this white. Let's see what we got. Uh, I think eh, it's a little sticky. I'm going to add a little bit of water to activate it. Use my stir stick. 
and mix it in. Get all the dry stuff off the edge and pull it back into the center. We don't like, we don't waste anything around here. We use it all. All right. Scrape off all that mat, that back on the side. Of course, I can't do anything without getting my fingers all messy. And now we're going to go in and do the snowflakes. And I'm working kind of quick, mainly um, because now I have that red on there, on the words, and I don't want it to dry too much and then pull up my paint. But I think we should be okay. All right, there aren't that many snowflakes. Just trying to hit all those areas. This snowflake is kind of on the edge, so it's a little bit awkward. Let's see, did I get it all? I think I did. Okay, let me get this out of the way so that I don't accidentally put my elbow in it because I've been known to put my elbow in stuff before and then I just ruin everything. So let me put my lids on. Let's move our dirty squeegees over. Okay, so here's our hot mess. You can see the words through the red because that just tells you that I have um, cleaned off all my extra paste. Now this is going to be a bit sticky, so I'm not going to be able to show you as I pull. Okay. Just trying to make sure that I got all my areas down. I have found when you do it on metal, it's a little bit trickier sometimes to remove the transfer. And you just want to be as gentle as you can so they don't stretch it. Because if you stretch it, you won't be happy with it. It'll be really hard to reuse. Are you guys seeing it? Oh, oh man. All right, I can clean that up. Some of my red got off. Some of my red fell off my transfer. As I was pulling it off, some of the red came off my transfer and got on the edge. So whatever, but he, I can clean that up. So here's our, here it is. Here's our wonderful life. And it looks pretty good. The letters look pretty clean. And the snowflakes. Okay, so that's going to bother me. Do I have a rag? Do I have anything wet? Of course I don't. Why would I, why would I have anything wet around here? Good thing that this is semi-permanent and I can just scratch it right off. There. Fixed. Done. Alright. Let me dry this. And then we'll do, then we'll move on. I'll show you the one that I did earlier. This is my second one, actually. Yes, Shelby, another pizza pan. You guys, pizza pans are so easy. This pizza pan came for Dollar Tree for a buck. So if you screw it up, you're only out a dollar. But with Chalk Couture, it's really hard to screw it up, let me tell you. It's pretty much goof proof. Because even if you make little smudges or little mistakes, you can fix them. And I'm going to show you in just a second. Okay. All right. Let me show you real fast. I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but down here, uh, can you see that? It's a little bit smudgy right down in there. I don't think you can see it. Let me see. Is there another one? 
Okay, right up here. That snowflake got a little bit smudgy also. Like right. Ah, I don't even know if you can see it because it's so small. It's such a small area that it's not even like, it's not that much. So it's really hard to see. Anyway, I'm just taking this little tool and fixing it. You can do the same thing with a toothpick, but this is a great little tool. Sure, it's a great little tool. I don't know, but one of those dogs is having a fit about something, and I don't know what his problem is. But he's making all kinds of racket. Ugh. All right. So here's one, and they're both the same. There's one, and there's the second one. Cool, huh? And guess what? I made both of these tonight, I think. The longest part about this was waiting for the spray acrylic to dry, which because I try to let that air dry as much as possible because here's why. When I use my heat tool, if that spray acrylic gets really hot, it starts to boil and then it leaves like boil marks. I don't know. It's annoying. And I didn't want that to happen on these. So, and then oh, I know you guys are going to be like, really like what she did. Okay. She did it again. Yeah. So I pre-made my bows. Yes, I did. I pre-made the bows and this is why, because I really didn't know which direction I wanted to go with the bows. And I didn't want you guys to have to sit there and watch me fight the bow. So here's what I came up with. See, he's having a fit. I don't know what his problem is. Okay, so I made this bow. And it has, it's, it's two in one. It's the, it's, this is a bow, right? And then this is a rag bow on the front. So I've got some white, some black, some red. This front bow has snowflakes on it. I don't think you can see them. Let me shut this off. All right, there it is. And then I tied that little tree, okay? So what I did with this little tree is I, it didn't have a hole in it, so I drilled a hole in it and tied it on with fishing line. Um, this is one bow that I made. So it would go like this, right? Sort of like that. And then this is the other bow that I made. Um, so it, it's got that, it's the buffalo plaid, but it's the red and white, or the red and black. And then um, this is the rag bow that I made to go on top of it. And then I tied another little tree, but I put glitter on the tree. I glued some glitter on the tree. So it looks really cute. I, and then this can also be, um, can be the other option of the bow, okay? So you guys, these rag bows, um, they're pretty simple. Some night I'll show you, oh, I also made this one. It's got a little bit of a bigger tree, but I'm not, I don't think I'm going to use this bow because, um, I feel like it's too gray. Well, maybe not, but I don't know. Maybe I'll save this for another one. But I kind of wanted to add more Christmas colors. But this one had a bigger tree, which I thought was really cute. And of course, we're going to add greenery. So that's where um, I am going to need your help is with the greenery. Because we have so many choices over here. And I'm not quite sure exactly the direction we want to go. Because we have, I have this. I have this greenery, which is really cute. And then and then we can add this bow somehow, or a bow. We can add that bow even too. What do you think? That's my ideas. Those are my ideas tonight. These have this greenery has a little bell on it, which I'm not going to use these. I'm going to cut the bell off. But I think the bell, or I think the greenery, the greenery would still work really well. I, I just don't, I don't, 
don't want to use the bell. I don't know what his problem is, but I'm sorry that he's barking. But he's driving me nuts. But what else is new? Okay, so. I thought that I, I wouldn't put you through the torture of making, of watching me try to figure out what the heck kind of bow I'm going to use. So, because I'm already putting you through the torture of the greenery part. <laughs> and everybody knows that green, I struggle. This is my struggle. But we'll just have to go with it. <clears throat> I am going to cut, this has a clip on it. I'm going to cut the clip off. That's what I'm doing. I'm cutting the clip because I don't need it. So here's my little like alligator clip. I just cut that off. I, I'll save it. I will save it. There might be something I only use it use for something. I don't know. But we're not going to use it for this project. one with just greenery yeah one with just greenery would be cute too Terry I agree thanks Shelly I wouldn't be doing the rag bows if it wasn't for you you totally taught me how to do that mess and it looks super cute all right let's throw those alligators over there okay now these have such short sprigs But I don't really know exactly how this is going to work, but we're going to try to figure it out here. Uh, let's see. Well, these have the pine cones on them, so they probably doesn't need a bow. Because you got the you got the three pine cones on them. I'm trying to hold it so you can see. Um, I am going to have to zip tie it though because it's not going <clears> to <throat> not going to stay. Alright, let's see if we can't figure out the best way to zip tie this thing. There. <clears throat> oh my god. Oh, well, there goes one pine cone. That's alright, I can always hot glue it back on. Okay, so we got our little sprig. Let's, let's cut this off. And we're going to have to add somehow. I don't know why, but these are like backwards. These little leaves are backwards. But nothing else is backwards. Why are these leaves backwards? What happened here? I'm twist those back around so that they can look better. Okay. All right, all right, all right. So here is, here's our little sprig of greenery. What do you think? I'm gonna, have to put this little pine cone back in here somehow. I might end up just gluing it on there. I probably will because um, 
It's kind of got a good side and a bad side. And I want the good side out. Maybe. Hopefully. Oh my goodness. Thanks, Terry. Yeah, Shelby, I think so too. It is perfect with just greenery. You are correct. You guys are right. It is, it is. It doesn't need a lot. All right, this wire. Now I need to hide the wire. It's never a bad thing to be over-prepared. Let's fluff that up. Let's fluff up some of this greenery. And then we can always see if we need to add a little bit more. I want to be able to see It's a Wonderful Life. Okay. How do we want to glue this down? Up on top of the rim? Or just below the rim? I go up on top of the rim or below the rim? Below the rim. This is below. I'm not trying to flip you off. <laughs> I wasn't trying to do that on purpose, I promise. Okay, here's here's on top of the rim. Here's below the rim. I probably should go on top of the rim, huh? Because then that way you can see that it's a wonderful life part better. I think yeah we're gonna do that and then I'm just gonna tilt it down. All right we'll put a hot mess of glue there and hope it grabs on somewhere. Make sure that it's right in the middle. And I have to put a little bit. There. Let's hold this. Yeah, go with the top. I agree, Shelby. That's kind of where I went. I went with the top and then I just kind of tilted it down. Alright, okay, I think we're almost ready to kind of reveal it. Let's see what it looks like. Hold on, I'm going to let this glue dry a little bit, just a tad longer. I don't know, one of those berries looks funny. I might have to cut it off. All right, hey, check it out. That's cute. That's cute. There's our greenery, you guys. It's a wonderful life with a little bit of berry action. Do you think we should add some snow at the bottom? What do you think? Should we add snow at the bottom? You guys tell me, what do you think? Just leave it as it is, or should we add a little bit of snow? Give it a little bit of um, snowy, snowy snow. Thanks, Shelly. What y'all think? We can add snow super easy. I practiced a little bit already on this little tree. Jamie says add snow. Thanks, Shelby. Okay, we're going to add some snow. Here's what we're going to do. So I have this like glittery snow, Dollar Tree, you guys. Got came from the Dollar Tree. And then I'm going to 
We're going to use some super glue. And all I'm, I think what I'm going to do is kind of like, I don't have a paintbrush. If I had a little brush, I did have a brush out here at one time, and then I used it, and now it's not out here anymore. So, meh. Oh well. I'm just going to put drops of glue, kind of like squiggly drops here and there, mainly around the edge. Hopefully it'll catch some of that. And kind of make it messy so that the glue will catch that snow. Okay. Let's add some snow. This is, stuff is so messy. All right, gonna move it around. Check it, there's our snow. I could even add a little bit more, but that's cute. Bounce off some of the extra snow. But there it is, you guys. The, um, it doesn't show the glitter. It's kind of, can you see, now you can see the glitter. Can you see it glitter a little bit? I might, maybe I should add some, a little bit on the rim. Should I add a little bit on the rim? Oh my God, I'm, I'm going to totally need a vacuum in this area. The vacuum this area. I am going to add a little bit on the rim, I think, just because it looks kind of weird where it cuts off. I caught you too late. Crap. She said leave it. Oh. Too late. Sorry. I could wipe it off. It's not dry yet. But there I have a little bit on my rim. I don't know, should I wipe some of it off or does it look okay? It's, it's not even, I don't even know if it's centered. What you think? Should I go a little bit higher on the sides? I almost wonder if I shouldn't put a little more snow like right there. Probably should. I'm going too happy with this glue, snow and glitter, probably. All right. Hold on. Okay, there it is, you guys. I don't know. What do you think of the snow? A little snow action for It's a Wonderful Life. And I just love that greenery. That looks so cool. 
So there it is, you guys. There's the first one. Done. We have one more to go. We can do that one without snow. Because this is, it looks cute. It adds a little more dimension to it. We'll see what happens. Let's just, I'm going to set it up here to dry. Oh my God. This is a crazy mess, crazy mess, crazy mess. Okay. I'm going to put this over here because there's glitter and snow everywhere. So hold on, let me get this cleaned up, and then we'll pull, um, we'll pull out the other one. We gotta add some greenery on that too. Let me get the snow out of here. Okay, so we have this one that's still plain. Which is cute. It's cute plain. It really is. But I have this greenery. Um, it has little like fake twigs and it has this bell on here. I, I'm gonna. I'm taking the bell off because it doesn't quite work with how I want to put it on here. So the bell is coming off. But I know I will use it in another project, so I'm not worried about it. And these little flippy clips are coming off also. Hi Alexis, how are you doing tonight? Um, let's see. I kind of like this one. It's a little. It seems a little more full. pine cones on it so I might have to add something to cover up the crisscross of the greenery so I need to zip tie these but honestly guys this is like the best thing when I saw I saw somebody zip tie greenery I'm like what that makes life so much easier because then you don't have to fight the whatever you're trying to tie your twine or whatever and then you just zip tie that sucker so tight it's not going to move on you so so much easier to work with i think all right i got it where i want it i just want to tighten it down Pull it closer together. There we go. All right, so now we have our greenery, and all we need to do is fluff it out. And sometimes you don't even need to do that. Okay, let's see, where did my scissors go? Where did my scissors go? I had this problem earlier today, and I couldn't find my scissors. Oh, here they are, duh. All right, I'm just gonna snip off the end of this zip tie. Uh, let's see. Okay, so when I put this on here, there's gonna be a bit of a gap. So I need to Put where my finger's at, I need to put something to hide that, which I probably, 
could put this tiny little bow instead of a big bow. Just put this tiny little thing with um, a little glitter tree. So that might be cute. Like that. We could go with that. What do you think? I don't know if you... This is the bow. It's a really tiny rag bow. We could do that. Um, we could do a bigger bow. I would just have to... That, that, we could easily do a bigger bow. We could do all three of those bows, actually. Let me see if I can try to get it so that I can show you guys. I kind of like it with the bigger bow, too. So that's kind of what it would look like with the bigger bow. Now, I can make the greenery peek out more. I'm just losing it. I'm losing it in my hands. Um, but that's what that would look like. I kind of like that idea. Do we want to do all three, maybe? All three would be cute, too. I don't know if you can see that. Ooh, that's cute, too. What do you think? All three? Alexa, yes, bows make pretty, they do. They make everything look prettier. They surely do. Let's, let's do all three and um, see what happens. Okay. I need to add more blue. All right, let's see if we can. All these. All this snowy stuff is dropping everywhere. All right, I need to make sure that that's in the center. All right, so I'm gonna hold that. Let that glue dry. We'll just give this a second to dry and then I'll add the bigger bow and we'll kind of glue it in layers. I feel like when I can do things in layers, it works a little bit better. Rather than trying to just fight with it and do it all at once, because it never works out for me anyways. Okay. All right, so now, okay, so here's our sprig. We glued it to the top. We can always um, spread out our greenery after we put our bow on here. Let's see, how do we want to put this on here? Okay, I think we are gonna have to load her up with glue and just stick it somewhere. I think. Oh no, it dripped. No, I wonder, I should be able to peel that off. Hold on. brown zip tie would really come in handy you guys I'm telling you get that glue out of there how can we cover that up I'm just gonna have to add more greenery shucks Alright, a little 
little bit of glue. Layer this rag bow in here with this tree. It has such cute glitter on it. And then we'll add some more sprigs because we got to cover up that zip tie. And I'll show you what I'm talking about in a second. Okay, so here's our bow, right? And I glued it right below the greenery. Okay, there's my zip tie, you see that? So what I'm gonna do, ah! That's not what I meant to do, I didn't mean to do that. We need to let it set a little bit longer, I guess. So sorry. But you get what I'm saying, I'm gonna have to add a little more greenery. Oh my God, this is like ridiculous. It's like Sarah, it's like Sarah's bloopers, who am I kidding? Sarah's bloopers, not Sarah's painted things. <laughs> oh, jeez. See, even I have weird stuff happen too. Okay, while this is drying, I think I'm gonna use this third sprig over here. Pretty sure that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take this, this little sprig that has the same greenery, and I'm gonna cut I'm going to cut off some pieces. I'm going to get rid of this bell first. Because it's going to get, it's just in the way. Add it to my collection of bells that I will use another time. Okay, let's see here. How do we want to do this? To cut these down. A little too long. I just burned myself. I know. No sympathy for me. No sympathy. I have little rubber things over there and I didn't put them on, so that's my fault. How does that look, you guys? From your perspective, from your point of view, does that look, what does that look like? Does it look good? Does it look full? Does it look lopsided? What does that look like? Should I add something in the back? Should I add that? Take that out. Take that, put that in. What do you think? I think I need to put this in the back. make it fuller. Yeah, I think that's what I need to do. Maybe too big. I'll use this little guy. And then, hold on. Yeah. 
and stick. Add him to the family. Get in there. Stay. Ah, not bad. Look at that. Looks cute. Fluff out our bow a little bit. There we go, you guys. There's our second door hang. Cuteness. This is what we went with. We added some greenery. I put a little more in the top. I don't know why, but this bow needs to be perked up a little bit. I feel like. Maybe it's just the angle that I'm looking at. But there's, this is the first one. Oh. And here's the second one. With snow and just greenery. And then without snow and a bow. Cute, you guys. These turned out really nice and so easy. So easy. And you know what? My It took me no time to put the transfer on here with the chalk paste. The longest it took me, the longest part really was painting my surface and then adding the greenery and the bow. So you guys can do this too. You can do it too. It's pretty both ways. Without snow and then with snow. Honestly, like, it looks good in person because then, because you can't see the glitter on the, you can't really see the glitter, but it's there and it's cute and it looks good. So I'll get a picture of both. Thank you guys. That's all I have planned for tonight. I think they both turned out pretty fabulous. Um, that's all I have planned for tonight. Now, uh, here's the deal. So, um, November is rapidly hitting the middle, just about the middle of November. Um, so be sure that you're, um, taking a look at the, the website if you're interested in, in purchasing anything, because you always got to account for the shipping. Um, you might want to just kind of say maybe 11 to 12 days for shipping is what you want to allow. Um, just to be on the safe side. So if there's something that you're kind of thinking about and you just really haven't pulled the trigger yet, but you know it's something that you want to have before Christmas, I would say um, hop on it so that you have time to make your gifts. Otherwise, if you're just watching to watch because you like to create and you too need some inspiration, that's fine too. Um, Thanks, Melissa. Yeah, I do like both of them. They both have just a little different flavor, and that's okay, because there's nothing wrong with that. And honestly, these both will probably end up in somebody's home. I know one of them will for sure. And um, I don't know about you guys, but it's kind of nice when you have something that's not a, a completely identical to your neighbor. You know what I'm saying? There's a little bit of variation. It's a little bit different in one way or another, and that's pretty cool too. Okay, you guys, um, if you have any questions about Chalk Couture or um, anything like what you want to order, where to start, go, go ahead and send me a private message. If you have an idea and you want me to create something for you, go ahead and send me a message. I know that I'm starting to get some Christmas orders in, so if you are thinking about something that you might want to give as a gift, um, you might want to get on my list because it's starting to get kind of, um, not super long, but it's starting to happen. And at some point, um, I have a full-time job also, and I'm a teacher, and I do the best I can to live in both worlds because God knows everybody needs a little bit of an outlet to what they do during the, during the real day. Um, and this is kind of my outlet. But I am happy to make anything for anybody that they might um, want to give away to somebody or heck if they want to keep it for themselves. Um, so if you have any ideas, you can just send me a message and I'll do the best I can to make something gorgeous for you. All right, you guys, that's all I have for this evening. Hopefully I'll be back on. I'd like to be back on tomorrow night. Hopefully that shipment comes. 
I'm really wait, I'm waiting for that teal chalk paste. I want that teal chalk paste. I'm not doing this next project without the teal because I know that the teal is a different variation to Christmas colors. Um, and I want to show you all what it's going to look like. It's pretty cute. But I'm hoping maybe it'll come by Friday. If not, then maybe Saturday. But I'll definitely pop back on here sometime this weekend. Um, okay, that's all I have for this evening. I won't babble too much longer and hold you up, but I wanted to make sure that you guys got to see this awesome It's a Wonderful Life transfer because there's so many ways that you can use it. I've already used it on a transfer or on a t shirt, I've used it on this. Um, what else have I used it on? Oh, I use it on that wooden platter that I have um, on the top of my mantle um, above my fireplace. Only that one doesn't have snowflakes, it just says it's a wonderful life which is a cool variation to um, this transfer. A great way to use it multiple times, but make it have a completely different look each time. Oh, thanks, Alexis. Thank you so much. Okay, you guys, I will see you soon. Thanks for watching.